What's up everybody? So today you have a two for one video. First, I'm going to show you how to install Guru's new connector. But second, while I'm doing that, I have to do the mud job. So I'll show you how to do a proper mud job as well. So let's go. Right, so first, let's talk about our Guru connector and two different applications for it. So you could have a slab or you could have a plywood construction like we have here. If you have a plywood construction like we have, what I'm going to do is take this ring right here I'm going to attach it to the floor with the screws and then this piece will be able to go right into it like this. And then I can go ahead and do my mud job and then get the plumbing tied into it afterwards. If you already have your plumbing existing there and you have one of these pieces sticking out of the ground, what you would wanna do then is take this transition piece essentially, bore out these uh, holes here that line up with the screws. You would put sealant on the bottom here put it over here and then use the screws and bolt this down and then same way this goes right over the top of it and then you can go ahead and do your mud job so now if you have a slab it's even easier than that you don't have to mess around with this piece all you have to do is cut the pipe flat with the ground with your slab chisel out some room to fit this fitting around it and then you will just glue that right on top of it let it cure and then you can go ahead and start doing your mud job right from the top. So that's how you connect to your plumbing. Now let's talk about the stuff that we have up here. So there's two pieces. We have this piece right here and then we have this clamping piece that goes in here. So this will come right off. It's a friction fit that has this rubber O-ring that fits in here really tightly for when the membrane goes over the top. This holds it down as we put the seal in there. But we'll get to that later in the video. So right now, let's talk about this part. So this part right here goes in with our drain. Let's say you, you purchase your drain. It goes in right here. Spin it as you get it in there. So it goes in right there. What's cool about it is that if, let's say, your plumbing is a little bit on an angle, you can set your drain on an angle as well. So then it allows you that leverage or that movement. So if your entire plumbing was a little bit off like this, you can still go ahead and just do your mud job and then just mess around with this as you're getting ready to tile and install it. If you're using penny tile or like really small tile, you can just flip this around and then it has this recess. So then this whole part can go into it and then it will allow for you to install smaller, thinner tile without having any lippage because now it's way down here and it's be really flat, which is a huge problem that sometimes happens. So now when you have these two pieces together, a cool feature also about this is that once you install it, you have some wiggle, wiggle room here, almost three eighths of an inch where you can move it around. But the issue you, you might run into, if you push this all the way down, now this piece is inside this pipe and you will lose that wiggle room. So what you wanna do then, once you have your piece as, as far down as you want, you want to then go ahead and get a hacksaw and cut it this way, it's not getting in the way of this pipe and it's not going to damage the drain in any way. So just look out for that if you run into that problem. All right, so that's this piece. Now let's talk about this piece. And honestly, I'm not gonna talk about it for another couple minutes because this is irrelevant until after we do our mud job. This is the piece that will hold our membrane down as it's curing and getting this connection watertight. So for the moment, I'm just gonna put this to the side. What we have to do next, what I have to do next, is install this piece with my screws, then set this, and then go ahead and do my mud, mud job right off of this edge. And then I can use this for screening, whatever. Tape this off so you're not getting anything down there. Tape this off, do our mud job, and then we'll get to this piece. So let's do it.
we are done with our mud job. All we have to do now, let this cure up, then come back tomorrow and do the top layer of it. So I'll see you tomorrow. And it's tomorrow. <laughs> so our mud job is done, it's cured up. So now what we have to do in our next step is to install the membrane itself. So I'm going to thin set all around the perimeter here, trying to avoid going onto the black flange itself, because that's where the sealant is going to go. But we're going to add that after we set the membrane. So first, let's set the membrane. So now that I have my membrane just kind of loosely down, what I'm gonna do is basically start working out that thin set from the drain itself right here. This way I'm not getting all that thin set pushed into that flange that I wanna keep clean. So work, work out from it and then work towards the perimeter like that. And then you can kind of squish this out. Remember, you're just trying to get the air out, not the thin set. The thin set is what glues everything in place. You just want to get that air from underneath there out. All right, so now that we have this all flattened out and happy with, now we have to cut this out. So you want a brand new box, box cutter blade. Just kind of open this baby up so you can see what's happening here. Cut off some of the material. And then the goal is to find the flange, the outside of the flange right here, and then very gently cutting it off. And see, I'm angling my blade a little bit in and not this way, just to make sure that I'm cutting off on the outside of that little flange and I don't have any materials getting in there because you don't want the, any membrane to get in the way uh, when you're trying to put that clamping ring down. All right, so just very slowly, I'm gonna go this way. Brand new blade will, will help you do this easily. Just like that. And the difference between the Guru system here versus others is that it's using a sealant type of uh, system. So you don't, you don't have to use any thin setter here or anything. So now I'm going to put a small bead of this sealant right underneath here. Remember that flange that I was saying to keep clean? Don't look it on too much. Just a nice even bead will go right under it. And this is the part that will make this entire install 100% waterproof right here. Just like that. And then you want to visually confirm this. So here, Alex, check this out. You guys see how this is changing color right here as I'm squishing this and you're getting some of that ooze out? Just make sure you're getting ooze out on the entire perimeter, let's say of your um, sealant here, whatever, with this little flange. You wanna see that coming out everywhere and that will give you that visual confirmation that you did a really good job. And this is right here is 100% waterproof. So right here, as this sits, this is 100% waterproof. This, this, this ring that goes on top of it is just here to kind of hold this down as it's drying. So what I'm gonna do here, sometimes you have to fiddle around this a little bit. You put that in, press it up against this side, and then go over to the other side and push that in as well. Don't go like this. You wanna do one side and then come around to the other and then it will go right in. This is a tighter fit. So it snaps in right there. And then at the end, I kinda of like to give it a little bit of more pressure down. And this right here, you can see it coming out right there, is 100% waterproof connection. I'm gonna wait about 10, 15, 20 minutes um, and you could do a flood test if you wanted to on this connection. I'm gonna come back tomorrow because I'm doing corners, but this right here is how you do this entire connection. So, bang, done. <laughs>